Hey guys, and welcome back to Story of Seasons. Uh, it has been a while, not for you guys so much, but for me. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I usually batch record, so I record anywhere from two to five episodes in one sitting, which is why if I, like, if you comment and say, oh, do this, and I don't do it right away, that's why, <laughs> because I have already recorded a couple other parts. But anyway, we have a lot to go over today, uh, so... <laughs> I guess I will just talk while we do our regular chores. Um, okay, so firstly, I wanted to talk about um, the different bachelors that we could possibly woo. It seems like everybody is interested in Rieger. There's a couple others, um, and then there's a couple other bachelors that we haven't met yet. So just wanted to kind of let you guys know that most of you are voting for Rieger. I'm not saying that that's necessarily who we're going to go after at this point, but yeah, that seems to be the overall consensus, so we shall see. Okay, I also want to talk about the length of this LP because people seem to freak out because <laughs> they think that it's ending or that I'm just going to give up on it or whatever, but no, uh, we're definitely looking to at least play this game through marriage and children, so that's going to be a while. It's probably going to span 50 episodes or more, I would guess. So you guys don't have to worry about it ending anytime soon because it is not going to be. Even if I play other games, I'm going to come back to this one. You know, it's, it's not going to just disappear, so don't worry about that at all. I uh, just kind of wanted to let you guys know that it's not going anywhere. I also want to talk about comments. If I don't respond to you, it's usually because Google Plus won't let me for whatever stupid reason. So if I'm not responding to your comments, please don't feel like I'm ignoring you. Just check back within a day or so and see if there are any comments that I've left because I try to respond anyway and I usually just put your username or whatever and then respond to you that way. Um, just because Google Plus is really annoying with that and it's pretty frustrating that I can't respond to you guys' comments because I want to, obviously. So, yeah. I just wanted to say, is that milk bigger than that? Huh. Could that be? We'll see. Let's just check in our... I could just be seeing things, but... Oh, I guess it's the same freshness, so I guess it is the same. It just looked bigger, didn't it? Whee! Alright, we're gonna ride our horse today. 2% looks pretty peppy today, and so does Hanako. Okay. Um, also, I... For those of you who don't really know, I'm not monetizing any of my videos at this point. I would love to do that at some point because that would really help me out and then I'd be able to have more money to buy more games to play for you guys. But for right now, I'm not monetizing anything. So if you see ads on my videos, it's because of copyright claims. I've had a couple of them. Splatoon, I immediately got copyright copyright claims from all over the place and it's the same with life is strange a couple of the episodes not all of them because of the music that's used in life is strange so i just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up about that i haven't gotten anything on story of seasons so that is pretty cool and awesome because this is the series that everybody seems to flock to for whatever reason i don't know but that's really awesome um the first episode has like 4500 views which is kind of insane when I started playing this, I didn't really think that anybody would watch it, and the fact that so many of you have watched it, and liked it, and commented, and, you know, it's just, it's awesome that you guys are doing that, and I really, really appreciate it, so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know. Also, we are almost at 300 subs. Again, amazing. Before I started this series, I think I was at, like, maybe 60, so I just want to thank you guys for all the support, because it really does make me want to, you know, keep going. Like, it's really encouraging for me. So, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for that because it's awesome. And if you want to help me further, uh, one of the best things you can do is share my videos so that other people can see them and hopefully enjoy them. Um, so that would be really awesome if you guys wanted to do that for me, of course. What else? I actually have a whole bunch of notes written down. A lot of you guys 
gave some tips and tricks from your own experiences with this game or from different websites that you've gone on to. So I wanted to kind of talk about some of those because that will really help me out while playing this game. So first of all, uh, grass is apparently cheaper than fodder for the animals. So it's a good idea to, I guess, get some grass and plant it outside the barn. And that comes from Red Realm Slacker 15. So thank you for that tip. Very good to know because obviously we have to feed our animals all the time and that's gonna get expensive. So it is, it is good to know that we can feed them for less. And then another tip is to keep weeds and twigs to make the seed maker so you can make fertilizer, which helps the freshness of your crops and then makes them sell for more. Also save five turnip seeds during spring and buy fertilizer but don't fertilize all the crops fertilize one patch a day and use the seed maker to make the best quality crops into seeds also dive every day in the three different rivers because you can find different building materials and stuff like that in there another tip is to upgrade tools as fast as possible and get a fridge and ki kitchen quick to buy the milk salad recipe because it's easy to make and sells for a lot more money than it cost to make so that's also really important and then once the safari is unlocked apparently there's some kind of mining safari that you can go to so you want to go there every day and mine and you can get emeralds and gold and silver and all that stuff and that can be for upgrades but anything else you can just sell for money so that's good to know too and that all comes from daniela pasito i'm not sure if i'm saying that right i'm really sorry but thank you that's a lot of tips and hopefully i will remember them i did write them down but Yes, hopefully I will remember all those tips and that will make our gaming experience a lot better. So I'm definitely going to be buying turnip seeds to save, like she suggested, and I'm not going to be selling my weeds to the uh, silk country anymore because we need them. So that's kind of important. Where did my horse go? Horse? Does the horse get back home if you jump off of it? Cause that's really dumb. What's the point of that? Horse. Oh no. Good horse. Okay, let's go. What did I name you? I forget. I forget what we named our horse. Oh yeah, we named her Midna, didn't we? I think I think that's what I named her. Okay. Well, there you go. Come here, grasshopper. Also, since everybody is interested in Rieger, apparently one of the things he likes is grilled fish, which is a which you can get the recipe from Silk Country, and that comes from Nicole Paradise. So thank you so much for that tip. I think that comes in summer, I want to say, but I'm not 100 sure. Now, if we're trying to woo Mistel, he likes butterflies, so that's really easy to get for him. And also, an easy gift for Rieger is seaweed from Silk Country, which is during summer. And he also likes the yellow pearl. And that comes from Ayla Lee. Thank you so much for that tip. Still not sure who we're gonna woo yet, but we're trying so hard with Rieger and he just keeps hurting our feelings, which is not very nice of him. So someday, we will get something for him. Also, why would he like seaweed? Like, just, I, I just don't understand. That seems a little random. Okay, and another tip is you only need to water plants once a day, but twice should increase the growth time. If you're using fertilizer, only water once a day to increase the length of growth time so that the fertilizer basically, like, you can fertilize them longer if you take, long take a longer time to grow them which is actually a pretty smart tip. And that comes from Elec Blue Bear, so thank you for that. And then I had asked what voices you wanted for the guys uh, because I hadn't really settled. I just kind of keep changing them because I don't really know what I want for them. Also, I don't know where I'm going. I don't even know if Silk Country is there today, but we're gonna try and see if they're there. And I'm not in the right place. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long between recording sessions because now I've forgotten how to play. Anyway, 
so the suggestions that I have are we should give a British accent to Rieger. Mistel should have a high-pitched, cute voice, and Klaus should have a deep and sexy voice. And that comes from Curls the Goat. So thank you for that, Curls, and I will try if I can remember. Also, so country is not here. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. All right. But we need to buy turnip seeds anyway. So I think we can buy them from the general store, which is up here. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like I'm a menace on this horse. Look at me. You guys should see me drive the Batmobile in Arkham Knight. God, that's awful. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay. Um, also, we can use fertilizer on our tree that we are growing. Because um, that will give it better star quality fruit. So, that is important and we need to do that. And, also we can plant grass seeds outside for the cow to eat outside. And that, I, that comes from Daniela. Pacito, again, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. We, we basically need to get some grass seeds as well. So I'm not even sure how much money we have. So let's see. Wow, we are poor as crap. Oh, I think it was because we bought 2%. I think that's why we're so poor. Oh man, I can't even afford. At least grass seeds are cheap, but I can't even afford much turnip seeds. I'll just buy two for now because that's all he had anyway. And then after we sell to um, Silk Country I'll have to I'll have to get some more. But I guess that's all we're going to do for now because Silk Country isn't here so we can't sell our stuff. I think I went the wrong way. No, I didn't. Oh god, it's Fritz. Get away, Fritz. I don't like you. Oh yeah, I think we can dive over here. Can we? No. No. There's three diving spots. I gotta find okay, yeah. Yeah, we can. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna go do a little bit of diving here to get more stiff. Also, apparently you can change your hairstyle in the closet, which is good to know too, and that comes from Red Red Rum Slacker 15. So thank you for that. We might be doing that. Um, soon-ish. Just for something a little more different. Alright, come on. Were we already in here? Is that why it's not giving me anything? No, I don't think we were in this one. I think we were in the different- we were in the other one. Um. Alright. So then we have a whole bunch of- a whole bunch more tips. <laughs> so, the most useful blueprints are in the trading depot. Okay. Ship more objects and produce to unlock more countries. Okay, which we really need to do because relying on Silk Country kind of sucks. Because when because when they're not there, we are kind of screwed. Like today. The next one that we should be unlocking is Cabin Country. So, not sure what they're gonna sell, but that's good to know. And ooh, it's getting late. We better better get back home. I've been dawdling and talking. Oh wait, I should probably put her back in the back in the burn oh I think I need to give them fodder as well do I have any on me good here you go I wish I could like pick this up but I really need a pitchfork to clean that up which I have to build I don't have that yet Anyway. Okay, so also you want to stock up on fertilizer. And every festival you win, that specific crop will go up in price. So you'll make more money selling it. So it's a good idea to win festivals. Also, uh, collect the twigs and weeds to make fertilizer in case the store is closed or you run out. And get the seed maker. <laughs> Save some harvested crops for the seed maker and make seeds out of them to avoid having to grow half star seeds. Also keep your animals happy and clean so you can win the livestock expos and if you do that you'll get more money for the products that they produce and that all comes from Nana Lee so thank you so much Nana Lee for that <laughs> a lot of good tips in there we 
are going to put our fodder in here because then we can just get it right out of the barn in that little storage area. What do we have? Right, pitchfork. We need five iron. Oh, we have four. Okay, we're almost there. That That is really good to know because we really need to make that. Okay. <laughs> oh, so we can basically change anything we want, which is interesting. Oh, cool. We don't have to wear the kerchief thingy. Good, because I didn't like that at all. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Double buns. I kind of like the ringlets. I think they're really cute. Long? That's not very long. I mean, kind of long. No video games really has, like, really long hair, though. Oh, oh wow. That's quite elaborate. That would be really elaborate to do every day. Oh my gosh, Sonic the Hedgehog hair right here. Creepy. This style is seriously called creepy. I could just go around like this. Oh my goodness. What in the world? I think I like the ringlets. Let me know if you guys like the ringlet style. I think I just think it's cute. So we're gonna go with that. I should have gone to the other place to swim, but I don't have time and I don't want to end up being like oversleeping because I tired myself out or anything. So we're just gonna go to sleep for now. Okay, so let's rent a new field. Oh wow, we're getting a tutorial. I wasn't expecting that. Good morning, Kita. It's Veronica. I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour. Do you know what time it is, girl? It's very early. I don't want you being on my property when it's this early. There's something I would like to discuss with you. Would you mind coming to the guild? I would mind. Get out of my house. How are you liking farm life? Eh. You know. I put some milk in the fridge. <laughs> Are you satisfied with the current size of your farm? Surely you've thought about what you might do with some additional land, no? It so happens that the town owns several public fields and, in order to encourage further productivity from everyone, we have a system in place for lending that land to local farmers. Well, that's good to know. I'm sure you've seen the blocked off roads on the mountain path, correct? Those lead to the public fields. I recently had the roadblocks removed, so please feel free to inspect those fields at your leisure. Now allow me to explain how to apply for a lease. If you would like to rent a public field, come speak to me at the guild counter. Next, select, sel next, select rent a field. At the moment, only one public field is available, so just select that one. Go on, give it a try. Dude, I do not have the money for this. Which field do you want? Um, I guess. <laughs> I want all of their fields. It seems no one is currently using that field. Oh, register it under your name. You may now use it starting today. Um, do I now have to pay for that? There, now we've finished the registration process. Each public field may only be rented for a limited time. While you're renting it, you may do anything you like with it. <laughs> so I can just go <laughs> take a dump in my field. If you would like to continue renting it after your lease expires, just come see me and re-register. Now, take a look at the bottom screen. <laughs> Way to break the fourth wall, Veronica. Arrow marks the location of the field you, you've rented on your map. Only certain crops will grow well in any given field, so be sure to check the signposts near them to see which will best suit your needs. Okay. You'll also be able to rent the other public fields, but we're still setting up a system for that. Once everything is finished, I'll call a meeting of the town's farmers so that I can tell you all about it. Thank you for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it looks like I'm renting a new field. I should check it out. Well, I guess so. Alright, well, I think we're actually going to do that in, in the next episode because this one's getting long. And I still have some tips that people left for me that I have to <laughs> go over. So, yeah, that's going to happen in the next episode. Sorry that this was, like, mostly just me talking about tips and stuff. But I think it's really important. And I'm glad that you guys are giving me these tips because they are really helpful. So, I just wanted to give credit where credit is due. So, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.